Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War. We're in episode 18, and I have a sector over here that I kind of forgot about in episode 17. I was making contact with it, and then I got distracted and sidelined. So, let's get back to this sector and continue scanning it. That is, um, until I have to actually do this mission. I'm going to boost this, because it is a mission that is going to be pretty tough. A rioting city can get unpredictable. It's going to boost it, makes it very light, and we have uh, six corporals on this mission, and they are going to get busy. These missions can be really tough. We just got word from the spokesman. Apparently the aliens have captured a VIP of critical importance to the resistance effort, and they'd like us to handle the rescue operation. We'll need to lock down the area, free the VIP, and evac the target as quickly as possible. Now, what happens on these missions is that you need to rescue a VIP. One, or once you have the VIP in your squad or in your custody, depending on how you want to call it, the Sky Ranger cannot come back. At least not for another, I think, six to eight turns. So this means that your squad is going to be constantly getting overwhelmed with additional reinforcements that Advent keeps throwing at you. And that makes these episodes really, really risky. This is why I also have the squad loaded out with all the new magnetic weapon gear that I have available for them. And one of them has the Plasma Katana, which is capable of inflicting a hell of a lot of damage. Alright. Um, they're in that building. This square is going to be a big fighting ground. Fortunately, it is a building... So I can use the roof over here as a staging ground. And I'm definitely going to do that. Slice. On my way. Scouting up. Hostile spotted. Jeez, you already got a drone. Alright. Now we're on a far, far map edge. So I can pretty safely move up through here. I really don't want to give my position away, because the moment that my position is detected, or my squad's detected, I'm immediately going to be getting that warning reinforcements incoming. That is going to ruin everything. Go, go, go. Roger, I've got my eyes on. Okay, guys. What's the drone going to do? Okay, the drone's not coming this way. That is very fortunate. But the other one might. The other one might come this way. As of right now, it shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Alright, moving up. Okay. And we have a tower in the way. I don't think that this squad actually has any hackers on it. So we're going to have to move around the tower. In case you're wondering why the hell didn't you bring a hacker, uh, I didn't have any available at the time. Copy that. Moving out. Because these mission infiltrations can take a bit of time. Go. And sometimes you just don't have the right people available. I'm ready to move on. Running. Okay, if shit hits the fan, go on overwatch. Two overwatches on the ready. That drone does seem to be kind of coinciding with the trajectory that my own squad is taking. It's going to get much closer. I might need to take it out. Tunguska. We're going to have to go into the building. The big question is from where? Contacts. Yeah, we're going to have to take those out. Okay, prepare for combat. This guy does have high ground. But he does not yet have low profile. So while he might use the high ground to get a little bit of extra defense, it is still not a guarantee that he's not going to get hit by anything. Seiko, bro. Here's my technical. You're going to move up here. And Silver Raptor, no matter where I move you, you're always going to hit Overwatch. Let's do this. 
Initially, that's one of those perks that I thought, no, that's not that useful. But it is potentially one of the most useful perks in the game because it means you always have Overwatch. Roger. Am I a fan of the Terminator uh, franchise? Mm, I wouldn't call myself a fan. I have seen some of them. I thought they were all right. But mostly, I don't know, I think it's more comedy than anything else with the way that uh, those films are set up. But they do paint a pretty eerie picture of what could be happening uh, if AI ever goes really sentient. Okay, let's sneak up a Security little point. more. Out. Ideally, I want the sniper to stay here. But I'm getting a bit jumpy that he might get attacked by the drone. So I'm going to give Silver Raptor up here location. and allow him to provide some assistance. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a pretty risky dash. I don't know what's inside that building. Roger that. Steady weapon. Roger Tunguska that Overwatch. Up. Slice, hunker down. Overwatch for Sea Cobra and Overwatch for Silver Raptor. I think we're about to hit the fan here. If the game sort of glitches like that, like it did, then there's a very good chance that somebody's going to get detected and everything's going to start moving. I wouldn't be surprised if it's these. There's another one of the drones. This is the four hit point drone. Here's the five hit point one. He's gonna spot something. Here we go. Okay, so we're just going to be in a conflict with eight enemies. That's going to be a lot of work. This is all going to be about crowd control. And hopefully taking out some of them before they actually do a lot of damage. Okay, you nailed one of the snakes. Seven targets left. Take a closer look. Here they go. Here's the drone. The drone is going to try and move up. Is he going to actually get an action? He does not. How about you? You go in Overwatch, and you go in Overwatch. Okay. All right, we have seven active contacts. One, two, three, a sector down there, four, five, six, seven. These guys are close enough that I might all hit them with one flashbang. Let's check that. Yes, I can hit all of these with one flashbang. It also gives me a little bit of time to get into cover. And especially the high cover is what I want. This guy can break overwatches, Alex. Uh, you're mostly immune to overwatches as well. Ideally, I want to make a big sweeping motion from here and start pushing back that way. I don't want to get flanked because currently some of these guys just really don't have anywhere to go. This guy, Maxim, is being threatened by this drone. This guy over here and all these three on this side. So this means that I need to make one flank clear. And also limit the... Um, potential engagement angles that these guys have. I do have a good shot on him. Let's take it, because he can fire twice. There you go, that's one less. And it's also one Overwatch less. You know that was good. This is it, right? The drone is right in front of me. Take a double barrel shot. That's two of them down by one operative. Okay, Ignachev, you're going to head over to the sectoid and put this guy out. He will probably take some overwatch fire, but with lightning reflexes, I'm pretty confident that it's not actually going to do anything. Okay, that's three targets down. And he is in cover. Although that drone might disagree. So the drone's going to have to get taken out as well. Do you have AP rounds? You don't. This guy does have a 90% on the gunner. And a 50, no, a 66 on the sentry. Um, perhaps we should just knock. Rock it out. Two reasons. One, it does a hell of a lot of damage. Two, 
opens up the way to get to that um, safe, or sorry, to the cell over there. So I can actually get to my VIP. Now, that leaves me with two active targets. Not bad, considering there were eight just a second or two ago. Ulf has a shot. You can shoot either the officer or the drone. Let's go with the drone. I don't need a heck of a lot of damage, just some. That's not really enough. That works. Keep in mind that these guys are only still corporals. They're not actually very high-ranking officers yet. There you go. That's eight down in one turn. Thank you, rocket launchers. All right, time to start collecting some loot. Smart move, Shepard. One damage is some. Yeah, technically it is. Lockbox and a scope. Hey, Raphael. Welcome. Okay. Who can get to these things without moving too far? Because I'm not exactly 100% if this building is clear yet. Go, go, go! Silver Raptor. You're going to take up position somewhere in the middle of the squad so you can cover almost every angle. And I'm going to let these things just wait one more turn because they can. I want you to reload. And Overwatch, or Steady Weapon. Sea Cobra. How good of a shooter is Sea Cobra? 76. That's good. I can work with that. And Alex, move up a little. Overwatch. I am expecting another squad. Ulf, get in here. Get both of these pieces of loot. Nice. Three lockboxes and a magazine. What's the second one? Another three lockboxes, an aura amp, an autoloader, and an advanced perception. This is a really good haul. Okay, so now we need to get closer and hack that objective. That is when the fun begins. Let's call the Sky Ranger in already. I'm not sure if this actually jinxes the mission, yes or not. It might. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. I'm on it. Um, Lagazo over it. here. Slice over there. Sea Cobra. This way. And Hoss. Silver Raptor up here. Overwatch. Mm, hunker down. Hold. Here they come. This is the squad that I was expecting. That was way high, dude. Come on. Okay. He's gonna go for an action. What are you doing? You're resurrecting one. Okay, that's fair. I can live with that. Because I'm gonna send a flashbang your way and shut it right the hell down. Unfortunately, Maxim does not have his... Uh, implacable yet, so he can move and attack, but he cannot immediately make his way out. This is a good flanking shot on the sectoid. Looks like good damage. Yep, he's down to one. Now I can kill this guy, chop this guy up, unless Ignachev can make it there. No, he can't. Hmm. This guy I cannot get to in this turn. I could just put this guy down. Silver Raptor can do that. How about my sniper? 92, 60. Take a 60. Oh. That worked out less well than I hoped. Alf, we're also going to have to hack this objective. Mm. 
This is a flanking shot. Rapid deployment. Flash out. There is not a long war for the Chosen at the moment. They're working on it. I know a couple of guys are working on that mod. That's going to be really good if that ever actually comes out. Good shooting. That's a 49. He's done. Okay. I still need to get rid of this one. Or have him get hit by a flashbang. So for now I'm just going to take out his zombie. Because I don't think I can reliably get to him without exposing too many people. That katana. That's a lot of damage output. Alright, Silver Raptor. This is high cover. That allows Ulf over here to move up to the objective and start hacking it. Okay, so we've got one disoriented sectoid and the other one is going to go for a shot, but he prevents it, but misses his overwatch. Oh, he's not going to go for a shot, he's going to go for a mind spin. Ah, oh, he's just disoriented. Ooh. Alright. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Time to go, indeed. Until we start hacking this door. That's when the situation is going to shift. I'm in. Okay. We've got the VIP in Doors the open. The Firebrand's return in eight turns. Uh, aside from that, I probably also gained rebels. Where are they? No, they're not here yet. Okay, let's take out this guy at very long range. Got him. Who's next? You are. How can I get to you? It's a 55 only. Not a problem. Although that might have been a graze. Yeah, six damage. I'll take it. Um, he is in light cover and he is being flanked, but I'm not too happy with the positioning of that samurai at the moment. Caption, you have pretty good aim. No, not good enough. Okay. My sniper is out of position. Let's see if I can get the VIP out. out. Let's just try that. Might sort of break the mission, but we'll see what happens. Shit. That does not work. Uh, Firebrand is coming back in eight turns. Firebrand is currently entirely unavailable. Do me a favor. Nope. So that means that I'm going to have to hold out for eight more turns. Until Firebrand actually does come back. And until that happens, go, go, go. the aliens are going to keep piling on. And Wolfman is now currently very exposed at the extract. Sectoid is running off. It's going for a shot and misses. But now I have Largeza on a roof. Like Here we go. Reinforcements incoming. 69% chance. Jesus. High ground. You're a good shooter. Thank you. Good work. Okay. And now we dig in. Because now it's going to get rough. See what he has on him. Good equipment. <laughs> Alright, ideally I 
have some high ground on them, but I don't think I can because I blew up half the building. All right, I'm going to keep you in a cell. I know that that's where you just came out of, but this is the safest space. To it's not likely to get ambushed all of a sudden. Ulf, Overwatch, uh, Tunguska, Reload, and Overwatch. Sniper, Steady Weapon, Sea Cobra. You don't need a reload yet because you can get free ones. And here are my rebels. I'm quickly going to move these guys up to my main squad. As quickly as I can. Because these are four additional shooters. And they will help. Reload. Overwatch. Let's see where they're coming. Right flank, right flank. I heard something over here. This side. On top of that, there are more reinforcements incoming. My squads are currently very spread out. I don't know where the threat is coming from. That's a big risk. Let's get a little bit more grouped up. Got it covered. Let's go. Okay, so it doesn't really have any good cover here. Reload. And Steady weapon. Which episode is this? This is episode 18. Let's go. Uh, Tunguska. Overwatch. All the rebels. High speed, this way. Copy that. Getting it done. Wolfman, hold your position. Hoss. Hold your position. Oh, they're on the roof. Or at least they are now. Yeah, got three of them. There's potentially three more. And maybe the second squad was even bigger than that. Wow, you killed one. You killed two. Look at those overwatches go. And that's... There's the second squad. Now we're being flanked. Pretty bad. Yep, the drone's down. I think we have four active. Maybe three. No, three active. And currently there's another reinforcements warning. But it means that it's at least not happening this turn yet. Okay. What can you do? Nothing. Shit. This is sort of my wonder weapon because he can hit anything and anywhere. And that's not really true at the moment. Sophia, I know you're just a rebel, but any damage goes. Whoa! Look at that. That was a critical. She just killed a sniper or a viper on her own. Uh, I cannot get anywhere on this roof or close to this roof. I kind of do like this position. You can hit something? Really? 28%. Not likely. Hmm. It's a 31. I'm going to have to pull our gaze off of this roof. Because he's not likely to survive this position for very long. Unless I can get some sort of pistol shot. And maybe have another shooter closer to the roof. I just don't know if that up angle is good enough. No, it's not. I don't want to risk this sniper. But I don't want them to have the high ground either. Alex, is there anything you can do for me? Well, there might. It's a long shot. But what if I throw a grenade directly at the ceiling? I have no idea what this is going to do. Uh-oh. No. What? Where did it hit? Because it didn't hit here. 
It didn't quite hit there either. That was a weird grenade. Tunguska. I need to buy some time. And buying time is something you do quite well. Like that. That rebel deserves a promotion. Absolutely. Okay, so that's that. Now let's get the sniper down. Tunguska hunker down. Um, aren't you an overwatch? This other rebel goes here. The VIP stays here. You can move twice and go on Overwatch. Let's move you over here. Use the Rebels as cannon fodder. I did think of that, but I thought it was a bit... Uh, a bit in the area of the war crimes. <laughs> no, I mean, it's possible to send Rebels as a sort of distraction force. It definitely does work. The AI will go for it. What are you doing? You're missing another shot at a rebel. Whoa. See, I don't even need to use the rebels as cannon fodder. The AI already picks them as more cannon fodder. Shit, more AI coming in. Please tell me you have an option. And you do. Good man. And he does have his lightning reflexes, so he'll not get hit. Samurai can be extremely powerful. They start out as a sort of a liability. But once you have those things going... Oh, man. Okay. Now, I'm not too concerned with preserving enemy corpses. So, we don't need to be too careful with explosives. Holy shit. First, she gets a critical. So, she rolls really high on her main shot and gets a critical. And now, she rolls a 5 on a grenade. Jeez. Okay. That was a, <laughs> a really good rookie. Or not even a rookie, she's a rebel. Uh, kind of like a sniper, yeah. They start out as a sort of a liability and they become extremely potent. But you have to give him time to train and get additional abilities. And that aim. That's why I usually try to start training snipers early. Anybody who does not currently have anything to do, reload and go on Overwatch. That sounded like it came from over here again. Have a look. Confirmed. Two snakes. And a sectoid. Come on, boys. You're gonna sit there? Or are we gonna do anything? Oh yeah, here we go. 39, 30, or a flashbang, and he hit them both. I'll go for the flashbang. Because I cannot quite get the others in range soon enough. Now, you are a whole different issue. The problem is cover. And this is what I was talking about before. He can go and do a lot of damage and wipe out this guy in one go. But I hope that none of these get a good shot off. And it also places him very far away from the rest of the squad. Come on. Why am I not leaving? Because I can't. That extraction zone is bugged. I need to wait for a, for a firebrand to return. So at the moment I don't have an extraction point. Otherwise I'd be already out of here. here. Just need to survive for a couple more turns. Go, 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 move it. Steady. Run and gun. I consider run and gun, but I couldn't really get anywhere close. This was the only spot. That would have been a critical. But this guy. What are your stats anyway? No, not on the Viper, on you. 58 aim? And she rolls a critical and... Okay. 
Don't ask questions about it, just go with it. Okay. Now she's not actively at risk. Sorry, he. And since you don't really have anything better to do, might as well throw a smoke grenade over. Get these guys a bit more defense. Overwatch, overwatch. Stay put. Um, hunker down. I really hope that these guys don't turn around and start shooting at my samurai. Like that. Fuck me. <laughs> That's just one of them. What are you gonna do? Uh oh. Oh shit! He was in low cover, but apparently not good enough. <sighs> okay. Um, one of the guys had an extraction kit on him. Because I don't think I can make it there and run back in time. Yeah, you have an extraction kit. So we're going to have to get over there and bring him out with an extraction package. A Fulton harness. And in the meanwhile... Push through the enemy, neutralize additional reinforcements as they're coming in. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty busy. Run and gun. You only got one shot. Or I can go for overwatch or um, stunning. No, this is probably gonna work. There you go. That's one less. Yeah, I'll save him. Don't worry. The problem is that this snake is in well, pretty shitty position for me to kill. I mean, I can get closer, but I already used that point blank. This is only a 54. Holy crap! Impressed yet? Yes, I am impressed. I'm getting exceptionally lucky rolls on this mission. This weapon can do 5... No, yeah, it can do 5 to 9 damage. And it did the maximum. That was the perfect, perfect, perfect roll. That's exactly what I needed him to roll. Okay. Once again. Get ready. Because they got more incoming. It's not unusual that you finish these missions with 30, 35 kills if you stay too long. But... The enemy squads do get increasingly large if you go past that uh, that firebrand return. Oh, this is standard dropship. Okay, what's your plan? Oh, you're dropping right on top of my extraction point. See, it's already starting with four-man squads. Two scouts, a grenadier, and a trooper, I think. Hello, boys. And the scouts are immune to overwatch. Jeez, how much do you need? There you go. They want to join. Yeah, or they just want to ride to the Avenger. Okay, Sea Cobra, get in here. And get our samurai out. Off you go. Okay, so he's back on board. Now I need to start running back to the extraction point. And make sure that I still have troops by the time that that Avenger comes in. Or the Firebrand comes in. Uh, they got three guys. If I run you up here... I'll be able to immediately kill that guy. Submachine guns to the head are not good for your health. Finn, your position is terrible. I think it's time to use these rebels at what they're good at. Which is just moving them up and throwing grenades at people. Moving on target location. It may sound a bit harsh, but that is what they are generally most effective at. Finally. Hold. Ulf, there's no time to reload, just hightail it back to the extraction point. Okay, you can hit either. 
Uh, you can't quite hit. Yeah, this is the best throw that you have. And the other one is... Even worse, I think. Oh! High roll. Can you actually get this guy killed, you think? I think she can. <laughs> I'll go with it. I'll go with it. Alright. Silver Raptor. If I put you over here, you will go on Overwatch. But unfortunately, that'll be the end of it, because you cannot actually hit the guy. Since he's immune to Overwatches. So let's send in one flashbang. When in doubt, grenade out. Absolutely. Delivered. Okay. Um, Largazer, you're just going to have to sit here. And currently don't do much. Yep, shadow step. Hold. Fortunately for me, he's wounded and disoriented, so he won't be as accurate as he normally is. If he does go for somebody, so let it be a rebel. And he does. Goes for the rebel. There's more reinforcements inbound, but I'd ideally not stick around. Unfortunately... Sea Cobra is very far away and will need at least one more turn to make it back to the extraction point. So it's time to put this guy out of his misery. Once again, Tunguska with the SMG run. <laughs> Doesn't have to be pretty, he just has to go away. Okay, now I can get my squads reloaded and on Overwatch. As close to the objective as possible. Because we want to be out of here any moment now. You can get out of here? Question mark? Yes. He's out. Right. Uh, Lurgazo. Overwatch. Just another turn. Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. Elf. I can reload, take a shot, and run him back to the extract next turn. Where? South. Now it's five guys. I'm never going to hold off all of these. I believe the rebels can be extracted. I'm just not sure if they join your squad. I think they just go back to their standard rebel duty. Which is either intel gathering, supply gathering, recruitment, or hiding. Fortunately for me, these guys are not capable of deflecting overwatches. There you go, that's one less. Ooh. Please don't overwatch. More reinforcements incoming. Make a break for it. Cannot afford any misclicks now. Let's move As we are... <laughs> As we're leaving, we're going to take a 1% chance shot at this trooper. Yeah. That is not good. Um, 11% at the trooper. No! Again? Just a little off. Just a little off. Yeah, but you hit a very low percentage chance. Okay, all of these have fired and can get out. Ulf. Not going to linger. Mm, yeah, humor me. Mm, not quite. Is that a stun lancer? I need one of their corpses. Yeah, but... If I am going to stick around here, I'm going to have a lot more corpses, but they're all going to be XCOMs. So I'd rather not stick around if I don't absolutely have to. And at the moment, I really don't have a need to just stick around and fight. Tempting as it is. So I'm just trying to get this one trooper down, but I don't think it's going to fly. 
I'm I just going. leave with one rebel who has one round left. Which you can build with that uh, corpses. A pile. An increasingly large pile. But aside from that, not a whole lot, I'm afraid. Damn. Yeah, boss was misses. <laughs> oh Leave it to the rebels to actually fire accurately. There we go. Two wounded. One of them extremely seriously wounded. My poor samurai. Health down to zero. Um, I think we're not going to be hearing from Maxime for the next 28 days. Especially considering I didn't have a medic on this mission. Place your bets. 25. Okay, it's not as bad. But damn, that was not pretty. What is pretty is the promotion screen. Everybody goes to sergeant. Uh, blue screens. We got Raptor. Cool under pressure. 10 aim and overwatch on other reaction shots, and they can critically hit. Ulf. He is very much somebody who runs up to people with a gun and then shoots them. Normally I do that with a shotgun, but for this particular mission I picked a mag rifle because I knew what was going to happen, and that this was currently a better option. Let's go for Killer Instinct. Activating run and gun grants an additional plus 50% critical damage. Not critical chance, though. Corporal. Correction. Sergeant. Sea Cobra. Uh, burnout. The flamethrower leaves a small smoke cloud around your position, providing a defensive bonus. Very handy. And our samurai. See, this is the skill that I should have had. Implacable. If you score one or more kills, you're granted a single bonus move. With this, he could have just hit that snake and run off. And I'm really, yeah, I'm really not quite happy with the fact that he got taken out for that long. Okay, who do you have here? Yutaka Wolfman Nakajima. Man put on a shirt. We might be a bunch of guerrilla fighters, but at least we wear some normal clothing. Well, relatively normal. Let's see, what other new items did I get from the workshop? Mm, not bad. Arms. Looks decent. Now, as for his armor pattern, I'm just going to go for something standard. He is Japanese, so let's go for a Japanese armor. Yeah, Japanese airborne. That works. Weapon pattern. Same deal. Japanese airborne. Now, as for his skills, he's a seal. That makes him pretty good at hacking. He has an extremely high aim stat for a corporal. So this is going to be one lethal shooter. Stick and move is going to be very handy on him. Fire a shot and then change positions. Something else that is always handy is shield protocol. Because it can get you out of problems uh, very quickly by just generating... I think it's a 5 point shield around any friendly or gas protocol. We only got one discharge per turn or per uh, mission. Whereas this... You got, I think, quite a few. But holy shit, an 84 aim corporal. Damn. He's going to be very handy. Alright, with that I'm ending episode 18. That was a pretty hefty firefight. Fortunately, only one of my operatives got hurt and one of the rebels got hurt. But aside from that, it's, uh, it's going pretty well. I'm just a bit sad that Maxim's going to be out for a while. Oh well. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to support on Patreon if you like my content. And uh, I shall see you soon for episode 19, which is going to be up in a couple of days. See you then.